Scorpio, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for Scorpio. And for those who have Scorpio placements, check your chart for your placements. As always, course watchers, you're welcome here. Keep in mind that energy is fluid. So the roles may be reversed, may flip the messages as needed if necessary. The roles may be reversed, okay? But never force a reading. If it's for you, the messages will flow. Never force the reading, guys, okay? If it's not your story, then it's not for you. So simple, all right? So you're going to hear me sing Alexander Tarot throughout the reading. I've explained the reason for that because there were some fake tarot channels stealing tarot audios. So I just like to make it a little more difficult for them, for their edits. Thank you to those who have been reporting these channels and letting me know when it happened to me that it was happening. All right, so this is no time specific. Anytime that you press play is the time for you to receive the messages. Show me the messages I need to see for Scorpio in love. What are the messages for Scorpio in love, please? Show me the messages. If you guys, if you're interested in a personal reading, shoot me an email at bookalexandertarot at gmail.com. Okay, don't forget the Gmail. And actually send um, um go to my website alexandertarot.com first to see what the options are do not pay for any readings because we have to book via email all right so call so shoot me an m say call me he shoot me an email to see what my availability is and let's set it up all right i do pre-recorded readings and also for for live show me the messages for scorpio that's spells in the tarot Show me the messages for Scorpio in love, please. Okay, this card flipped over. Okay. When the cards fall out like this, guys, I do not read it. I only read uprights and reversals. I will put the card back. Show me the message, please. I feel like between you and your person, somebody received messages recently, okay? Because I got this page of wands and the page of cups. Pages are messengers. Um, it might have been something really cute, flirty. Might have been a gift from someone. Um, with the Knight of Swords reversed, this is somebody that was pretty much pretty flighty, very arrogant. Um, this is someone who's very insecure themselves, so they're in and out of the connection. And then I feel like there was a there's a situation that someone you know again sent a message or if it hasn't happened yet it's a prediction from someone that's in and out all right why is this king of wands here okay yeah this is somebody who now went into you know the king of wands they wanted to come into the to the connection they wanted to show up as somebody that makes the other person feel safe somebody who's being faithful to the connection with the seven of swords reversed it's like there's some sort of truth revealed here that this person might have, might be confessing something or might have confessed something um, and that they're taking responsibility for and they're wanting your forgiveness for. What is this? Why is this Seven of Swords reverse here? What is this? Okay. All right, this, what this person is wanting to confess is that they they can't move on from you no matter how they try to disconnect and again i'm saying you but it could be the roles could be reversed but this is someone who's saying that they can't move on eight of cups in reverse is somebody that returns and they realize they can't let this person go and they don't want to fight it anymore yeah the queen of cups reverse they feel as if someone here pulled back their energy and they're like wait <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen and i feel like normally this person doesn't pull back their energy very nurturing very loving very giving and now this person has pulled back if this person tend to overgive to this person that's now wanting to return because they feel the resistance with the queen of cups reverse yeah all right you could be connecting with a cancer another scorpio or a pisces or scorpio this could be your energy i'm also getting aries leo or sagittarius show me more for this connection please this person and again if you haven't heard from this person yet no text no dm no showing up at your door or whatever or no gifts 
or anything of that short sort. Um, again, this is a prediction. But it's like with the page of wands, this person's eyes are being opened now. Like they're like, wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe I, I, you know, I do want to be with this person. You know, show me. Yeah, this is somebody that was very reckless. They lack stability. Um, this person could have had some financial problems and they lack financial stability. And now this person is now like trying to recover um, from their challenges with the Nine of Swords in reverse. And they're trying to release the worries that they have over financial security and everything with the fool. This person is wanting to take a leap of faith. You could be connecting with an Aquarius. They're wanting to take a leap of faith. Show me the breakdown in this connection. What's the breakdown? I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, somebody here, like, this is your energy. You got your stuff together financial and that, that financially. And this is what this person loves about you. Because I got the King of Pentacles reversed next to the Queen of Pentacles reversed, right? Complete opposites. And this person, they tend to make poor financial decisions, but they're very materialistic. They love, they are very obsessed with status and what things look like on the outside and but they don't make good financial decisions. Meanwhile, you're over here, you're, you're a homemaker. Some of you are a working parent, but you're a provider, okay? And you're very nurturing on top of that. And this person tends to love that. But the breakdown, show me more for the breakdown here. Show me one more, please, for Scorpio. I'm gone. The, the cards show you what they want you to know. And I have star here. So the breakdown here is this person that has did this obsessed with status. And as opposed to focusing on what they had right in front of them, which was a nurturing, loving person, right? So now with the magician and the star, this person is wanting to manifest their desires. And that is to heal this connection with you. They're trying to trust and have faith that this is meant to be, right? Because they're seeing you again as a nurturing, healing person. Show me more. I need to see the breakdown more. But well, this is a victory here. Spirit, again, shows you what they want you to know. All right? And Spirit is like, I've already hit the nail on the head. This is someone who was financially unstable and financially focused on the wrong things, though. So now they're wanting to, with the devil reverse, they're wanting to get out. They're wanting to disconnect from that toxic behavior. And, um... They're wanting to be successful with you. They want to have a victory with you. Okay. You can be connected with the Capricorn. Look at the bottom of the deck as Pat Alexander Tarot. And at the camera, there's a King of Cups. This is somebody that's wanted to come in this time as your mutual partner, like your ideal partner. Okay. Again, I'm getting Aquarius energy as well as Virgo. Show me more for this person's feelings since we're tapping into that. <laughs> this person's feelings for. Scorpio, size way. I only read uprights and reversals. See, I told you this person is is wanting to come in, and 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 take a leap of faith, and have faith that this will work because they feel your detachment so strong. Some of you might have blocked this person. If you did, this person did send you those messages and you already received it, you left this person on red. You're not responding to this person. Very coming off very cold, very aloof with the queen of swords reverse. It's just like you really could care less what this person has to say because you got tired of the in and out energy. With the four swords reverse, I get the energy of you just being tired of this person and you have no faith in a connection. With the two of swords in reverse, you're emotionally detached from this person. You're like, this person is like, it's too much. I feel like you took on a lot emotionally dealing with this person that could make up their mind about you. And you and you gave and you gave and you gave and this person just took and took and took, right? So um, you can be connecting with an Aquarius. I'm getting strong Libra and Gemini as well. Tell me more for Scorpio feelings for this person. <laughs> So a lot of you, this person did reach out. They want your forgiveness with the King of Cups here. As for Alexander Terra, I also see a Six of Pentacles. Like this person is, has said that they want to, like, you know, they want to show you that they do value, right? They want to pour into you the way you poured into them. They want to be financially supportive. They want to show up for you the way you've always held them down. 
they they feel a lot of gratitude again if this hasn't happened yet this is a prediction all right show me more yeah this person wants to bring things back into balance like they're wanting to change their priorities um again because they were so focused on um, tangible things. They were so focused on status and how things look on the outside. And even though things were all messed up, you know, underneath the surface. Um, for some of you, this person might even told you that they got therapy or they're interested in therapy to deal with some of their problems. Very specific message. All right, so show me the challenges when it comes to this person, the Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, the High Priestess is telling me that you're quiet. You've gone quiet on this person. So if you're in this reading, you're like, no, I'm, I'm speaking to this person, then this, that this message is not for you. The person I'm speaking to is, they're quiet. They're keeping things to themselves. They're not talking to this person. With the two, four of, of wands, the challenge for you is to want to be receptive to a reunion with this person. All right, because look at the bottom of the deck. As Palace and the Tower at the camera, there's a two of cups here. So there's love here. And I feel like that's why you are so resistant from this person because they've hurt you so much. And you know, and you know that you love this person. And this person knew that you loved that they that you love them and they took advantage of that. You feel like they took advantage of the love that you had for them and the kindness. And um, but now this old this old person is also realizing that they love you. So it's like there's love here. So the challenge is, are you going to stay quiet and disconnected from this person? Or are you going to be receptive to this reunion? Show me advice for Scorpio. Okay. Sometimes when I ask for advice, the spirit shows me the situation first before they show me the advice. Very common in my readings. Ask for Alexander Tarot. You see that I'm shuffling the cards, right? If you're <laughs> tuning into a tarot video and you don't see the shuffling and you hear shuffling, 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 and nothing's moving, no, no cards are being put down, nothing, that is a fake channel. Be very careful. Okay? So what I have here is you're holding back. You're not willing to take action, as we already know, right? Eight of, eight of Wands reverse. You're like, like, I feel like you're, you're just losing interest in this person because they almost, this is like, almost like, oh, this is a weird area. This is almost like a missed opportunity. Like this person is coming in where maybe they can get you to change your mind. But right now, like you're literally like one foot out the door with this person. With the Ace of Swords reversed though, I also feel like you're a little bit confused though. You know, like you, this person has reached out to you, but when they reach out to you, it starts to make you feel a little on edge, a little confused. Um, there's always this, a bit of conflict is miscommunication. Things are unclear when it comes to you and this person. Um, but also with the Ace of Swords reverse and the Eight of Wands reverse, I feel like you're not speaking to this person. But again, if you do speak to them, it's like, it's, it's just always left with even more confusion and mainly on their end, right? So with the five of swords reverse here, there is a reconciliation here. Like spirit is wanting you to move past the resentment because you guys can find solutions to your problems. Show me more for advice. There's an opportunity to do something. With the world reverse, this is not over, okay? You think it is. You, you're quiet, you're not taking action, you're not willing to reach out to this person, but this is not over. Okay, you could be connecting with the Capricorn. Show me more for advice. There's going to be clarity. This one to come out, this Ten of Swords reverse with the Seven of Cups reverse, as per Alexander Tarot. You're going to get clarity. Um... You guys can rise above your problems is what I'm getting with the Ten of Swords reverse. Um, there's a lot of healing and recovery that's going to be available to the both of you. Like this person is wanting your forgiveness. They're wanting to heal the connection. All right. Um, but with this Hermit reverse, this person is very lonely. They're isolated. They're very afraid that they really did lose you because you... For some of you, again, they did reach out and you're not responding. So they don't know what to do. 
All right? That's on their place. They're waiting on you to make the move. They want your forgiveness and they want they want to fix this. Oh, just a moment, guys. I just dropped that card. I need to get that card and find out what it is. It's the temperament. Look at that. I'm telling you. And it's upright. There's, there's going to be an opportunity to bring things back into balance with this person. Again, they sincerely want your um, forgiveness. And it's going to require you to do this in moderation. Like, Spirit's not telling you to just let this, just jump into this person's arms. No, this is going to take time. Time heals all things is what I'm hearing. This is going to take a lot of patience, a lot of hard work to bring things back into balance with this person. But with the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck, as per Alexander Tarot, there's a commitment available to you. Like, this person is serious. They had to get to the point where... You pull back because I feel like, like I said, I feel like every time this person was in and out, you always, you know, took this person back. But I feel like this time you was just like you reached a breaking point. You had enough. And this person was surprised by it. Like, whoa, like what just happened here? And they felt your resistance and they didn't like how that felt. And they're like, I, I'm not willing to lose, you know, Scorpio over this. So this person, you know, um, they want a commitment with you, a solid commitment with you. And they're going to present you with one. But the advice is to take your time, you know, find solutions to your problems, get to know each other again and, you know, watch how things change. Because I got the justice reverse here. You're like, you feel like this person is not willing to, to take responsibility of their actions. <laughs> this person has a history of not doing that. I feel like this person left, they come back, they stonewall you, they gaslight you, they try to make it look like you were the one that's insecure with the justice reverse here, they blame everything on everything else. Like they blame their problems on everything else, on other people, on situations. Someone might've complained about legal complications and how they wasn't treated fairly. And, you know, just boohooing to you and just never taking responsibility of how they treated you and how they present themselves in this connection. And you're tired of that with, when it comes to this person. You could be connecting with a, with a Libra. So it's like, you're like, I've heard it all before. So this person is gonna have to work really hard um, to get things back to where they was because the Ten of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck tells me that you feel like this is a hopeless situation. Um, you feel like it's unhealthy to maintain a connection with this person. Some of you, again, um, were in a committed relationship with this person. Some of you might have been married. Like, I feel like some of you are married to this person and there's a separation, okay, with this person. This person is like not knowing where they stand with you. And it's because this person just got up and left and came back like they were single. They did what they wanted to as they please. They made these decisions as they please. They took, took, took from you. They took advantage of you. They didn't hold you down. You didn't feel safe and protected with them. You didn't feel like they were reliable. And you got tired of that. You're like, why am I in this relationship? Why am I in this marriage if this person is not contributing? You know, so it's like, you feel like this, there's this, that is broken. So that's what I said, though. But the temperaments here, time does heal all things. And the difference is this person is wanting to come back with changed behavior. Like this person is wanting to fix this. All right. For some of you who are under the same roof with this person, you guys are energetically separated. You barely talk to each other. You're just kind of like existing. All right. But look, the lovers is here. And um, you guys, you know, there's a lot of love here, a lot of attraction. Otherwise, there's a partnership here and you guys are made for each other. All right. But with the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck and at the camera, spirit is like, just stand your ground with this person. OK, because you are guarded when it comes to this person and it's OK. Stand your ground. You don't have to be completely um, open with this person and again, jumping in their arms. But if you do want this to work outside of your pain and I'll say it again, outside of your pain, and, you know, you realize you do want to give this person one more chance because you have free will. You have to use your discernment. So don't be in the comments saying, I'm done with this person. You have the free will. You can do what you want to. I'm just saying for this specific connection, for those of you who say you're done in this reading, this is somebody that's willing to change. Okay. If this is, if, if you're listening to this and you know that this is somebody that's toxic and not willing to change and you're dealing with a narcissist, then this reading is not for you. This is someone who's like... Okay, what am I doing here? I'm about to lose the best thing that ever happened to me, and I can't. 
So, you know, yes, it's okay to be a little protective, a little guarded because this person disappointed you so many times. Absolutely. But again, if you're willing to make this work, then you're going to have to find a balance where you're willing to be receptive and, you know, see what this person has to offer. You can start with, with for those of you who are married to this person or you have a child children with this person because some of you do, um, you can start with therapy. All right. And then take it from there. All right, so before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some messages of love in regards to this connection. All right, show me the messages for Scorpio. Sometimes people have to lose you to realize, you know, what they have. And it's, it's a crazy thing that happens, but it's very common. By the way, guys, you can be connecting with the Sagittarius. I'm also getting Gemini energy here and um, Virgo. If I didn't say your sign, it doesn't matter, guys. It's if, if this is fluid and it sounds like your story, then these messages are for you. Reciprocity, I want to have equal give and take. Yeah, and did not not pull the six of pentacles as Alexander Tarot at the beginning of this reading. This person wants to show that they do value you. They finally want to show that. They're like, damn, I really do love Scorpio. <laughs> what, what, am, what am I doing? There's nothing better for me out there understanding i see a side of the story yeah so i feel like you've explained many times how you felt about this person in their instabilities and their reckless behaviors and decisions and how they didn't consider you and it just fall in deaf, deaf ears but now that this person is forced to be separated from you and they have to look at themselves they're like you know what um i see where scorpio was coming from regret i wish this never happened yeah see they're having regrets now they're having regrets. Show me more, please, Scorpio. Again, this reading has no time specific. As for Alexander Tarot, it's any time that you listen to it, it's the time for you to receive the messages. Confusion, I feel unclear about where I stand. Yeah, didn't I say that this person is really afraid because you're leaving them on read? And for some of you, I have a very small percentage of you that I feel the energy of, of you block this person <laughs> out of anger. But just know that this person is going to find a way to speak to you. Whether they have to go into your DMs if you have social media, whether they have to show up at your doorstep or use somebody else to get in contact with you, this person is not going to give up because they can't take the feel. They can't take this feeling of they pushed it too far and they're about to lose you. Space. I need more time to think. This is your energy, without a shadow of a doubt. You need more time to think about what you're willing to do, and that's perfectly fine. Okay. But perhaps for some of you who are leaving this person on read, you might want to leave this, send this message. Text them this message, okay? For those of you who didn't respond, say, you know, I need more time to think. Let this person know at least that much because you have the right. And whatever this person did, because this is a collective reading, it can absolutely entail more. Um, it's going to be different for most of you because it's a collective. Self-love, I am still trying to heal. All right, so I feel like that's your energy too, and that's why you need more time to think because now you're pouring into yourself and you know, you're putting that love that you were putting into this person, you're pouring it into yourself. Like I said, with the Queen of Cups in reverse, this was somebody that was overgiven to the connection. This person was taken and taken and taken, and this person, like, like the person, the Queen of Cups reverse, this is someone who's like a codependency, like, you overgave at the expense of your own emotional well being to this person. Chemistry, I have never felt a passion this intense. Yeah, this person is realizing how strongly they feel for you. And this came out, hope, I haven't given up on us yet. Yeah. So this person has not given, <laughs> this person has not given up on this connection. They're seeing things for what they are. They don't like what they see. They don't like what they did to you. They wanted to come in to make amends. So those are the messages that I have for you for this reading. If it resonated, Please let me know. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, go to alexandertarot.com to check out the options and shoot me an email at bookalexandertarot at gmail.com. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.